Welcome to the Savage Productions YouTube channel. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Savage Productions YouTube channel. Happy 4th of July, Independence Day to all you Americans out there. Happy Canada Day, it was Thursday. I know some people that I work with were off for that, so you know, same thing. But anyway, I'm out here repping my favorite shirt, National Express, made in America, uh, the back. But it says sprayed in Mexico and has a Mexican flag over the United States. It's pretty, uh, pretty awesome. But today, I'm uh, back here home in Colorado, and I'm gonna be going to a couple of 4th of July car shows. So uh, I'm just gonna show you around that. I'm currently driving the, the old family mobile. It's a uh, Ford Escape 2.0 turbo, has the same power plant <laughs> as, a, uh, as my Focus ST that I had back home. In Kentucky. I don't know if it's the same exact size turbo, but I don't know. It makes it a little bit less power, but this thing is all wheel drive, so it gets out of the hole really well. So I'm actually here uh, about to get some breakfast at Dunkin'. Uh, yeah, I'll get the sweet black pepper bacon. Yeah, um, on a croissant. On a croissant, yeah. Alrighty, did you need any hash browns today? I'm sorry? Any hash browns? Uh, yeah, please. One order. And um, that'll be it. Alrighty, just the sandwich and the hash browns is six twenty nine. Thank you. Buddy, that sweet black pepper bacon it's good it's so good so the first one i'm going to is in sheridan colorado at a pub and grill called about time uh never been there you know i've actually never been to a car show in colorado so i have no idea what to expect um i'm hoping it's not just a whole bunch of like wrx's and you know stis and lancer evos and stuff like that uh, i have seen quite a few awesome cars around here and I know that the Denver area has a really good car culture so I have high hopes um, but this one actually ends at 2 it's like 12:43 right now and I'm about 26 minutes away uh, I got a really late start today because I had to take my wife to the airport this morning so not gonna be able to spend all that much time there but hopefully we can get through the entire thing and then after that there's one that starts at 5 and goes to like 7 o'clock and that's actually closer to my home um, and that one's over in Thornton Colorado so I'm going to be going over, all over the place a little bit today, and then there's a fireworks show later on tonight that I plan to head on to, but I don't want to record fireworks to be that guy. I'm going to get my Dunkin' now, and we're going to get on our way. And they dumped my hash browns in the bottom of the bag, but it's worth it. All right, I'm about five minutes out. Uh, I was just thinking, I want to clarify something. I don't hate WRX STIs and Lance Revolutions and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I actually wish that I had an STI over my Focus ST, but... I just want to see some variety of cars. That's it. So we'll see you here in a bit. Okay, well, I just made it to the car show. There's a bunch of cars over there, and then this parking lot's filled up over this way. So we're going to walk around and see what we can find. Here's a sweet, sweet 56 Chevy truck. I'd love to have one of these one day, but man, they just keep going up in price. They're just so sweet looking. So clean. The bed looks like it has some nice looking little stuff in it. Let's check that out. Wait, Lance. Oh, Lance. little motorcycle ramp. Heck yeah. Very nice. Some people actually trailer their cars here. So, that either means that there's some really, really nice cars that never drive on the road, AKA trailer cleans, or well, people came from far away and didn't want to drive their cars. There's another nice truck over there. Hang out. that's integrated into the body. It's crazy. Two 
great mother. Charger RT. GT 350 Shelby over there. Yeah, some pretty cool bugs here. Check this Nova out. Things fast. 102 millimeter throttle body on it. So sweet. says why go slow I looked over it from the back and I was like oh seems pretty stock exactly why are you going so slow and then I saw it was an LS7 well, kids are loving this thing oh you did Dude, 70 Dodge A100 van. <laughs> Wonder what it has for an engine. It's weird. Oh yeah, DC power. Let's talk about Shelby owners here for a second.
pulled over here so I get to look at it a little bit more. It has full, full Cadillac interior swap. Well, minus the door panels, I think. All right, so we're here with Ben, the owner of this AMC Hornet. Um, why don't you tell me about the car? I see it's basically CTSV swapped. It's uh, the quickest way to describe it is a Cadillac CTSV with a Hornet body shell oh. dropped on it. Okay. They're both unit bodies, so I had to fabricate a lot of extra metal in there to keep everything structurally sound as much as I could. Gotcha. Uh, that's a real simplified version of what I did. There were obviously a lot more to it. So Yeah. So, but I mean, is the is the front cradle and rear subframe and all that stuff all the same? Everything's uh, Cadillac from the uh, steering suspension all the way back to the uh, drive line. The electrical system is all uh, Cadillac. Wow. Dashboard's Cadillac. The interior is Cadillac. I had to modify the seats, uh, push them in. The, the Hornet is about three inches narrower than the Caddy. And yeah. The, the wheelbase is five inches less, so I had to cut a five-inch section out of the Cadillac uh, platform and wow. glue it back together. And uh, that's that's crazy. The drive shaft, all that other stuff. How long did it take you from start to finish? Uh, about three years. Wow. And I. Uh, the last year was working on it pretty much all the time. I retired uh, about two years ago, so. Gotcha. So it's just been a passion project ever since? Yeah. Cool. I, I've done one other car similar to this um, about 20 years ago. I had a bad dream some night and came up with this idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a pretty awesome idea. and. I'd say the execution is pretty cool. At first, it, I thought it looked a little goofy with the wheels poking out, but right. I mean that's how wide I guess the the that's, whole that's a Cadillac suspension uh, is. Width. Yeah, wheel track is Cadillac, and it just barely fits. Yeah, I mean uh, it uh, looks really good. It, it yeah. really does. Any modifications to the engine? Is it just all stock CTSV? Well, it's a uh, yeah. There is. Uh, I got a hold of the previous owner, the one, the guy that corrected, and uh, he said that there's a uh, Lincoln Feller. Uh, kit that okay. pulleys and, and injectors and headers, uh, after coolers and all kinds of stuff. Uh, they have aftermarket cam in it. I don't know. He didn't no. say. Uh, gotcha. But it's put on an extra hundred horse, so it's about six hundred and fifty horse now. Does so, you have any problems with traction or anything? Well, I've really got on it for any length of time. Yeah. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm still trying to get used to it. And, uh, the uh, it's got an alcohol injection system uh, that's not working, so I don't really want to punch it and keep it open for any length of time until right. I get that fixed. Right. I just got this on the road about two months, three months ago, maybe. Gotcha. I actually have one that I've seen back home that's actually in another one of my videos. Um, it's a, uh, a Javelin on top of a Coyote Mustang body, oh, like, a, like a 2011, 2012. And um, yeah, it has all the interior and everything. He said he had to shorten it just a little bit uh, width-wise, and then I think length-wise, it was pretty much about the same. Okay. So it was it was probably a much easier swap than what you've done here. Uh, frame and all that stuff was all the Mustang, and then it was just the body placed on top. He actually cut out the um, like the the strut towers oh. and everything, and then he had to cut a little bit of the like factory inner fender wells on the on the Javelin uh, just to be able to make it fit. So it was. It was interesting until you started really getting to look at it, and it was like, oh, it's just a body swap, pretty much. But he said that he did do a, quite a bit of work on it, but this yeah. thing, I'd say it was a labor of love for a lot longer since it took you like three years. Yeah. But it's beautiful. It's nice nice meeting you. Thank you for uh, the interview, and um, we're going to get on to the other car show here in a little bit. That was awesome. The guy uh, came up to him right after I was done talking to him, and he's like, man, I said, so you had a Cadillac? and a AMC Hornet, and you were just smoking some weed one night, and you thought, man, I'm gonna put them together. <laughs> and he was like, he's like, well, that's pretty much what the story was, except I didn't have an AMC Hornet or a Cadillac. <laughs> that thing's freaking awesome. I think he actually just cruised over here to uh, see if he can get some pinstriping work done or get a quote on it. Or he wasn't gonna do anything too crazy, just something a little modest. But I'm gonna go grab some lunch and uh, head over to the other car show. All right, guys, made it to the other car show. This one's at the G1 Auto Credit here in Thornton, Colorado. Not too many cars here just yet, but it did just start about 30 minutes ago. 
Um, I saw some nice cars kind of driving around around the area on my way here, so I'm sure they're going to be here soon. So we're going to just show you what's going on. We have a cool looking little street rod here. Look at the doilies inside. A little etching on the glass, that's awesome. Gasser looking car. I think this is a dirt car, maybe track. I don't know. Interesting. Saw this person po post on Facebook. I just called Coker. I think they came from the That's pretty cool. Okay. El Camino. Nice Camaro. I love these Camaros, man. Even when they're just like normal, restored back to stock, you know, they're awesome looking Camaros. This one looks really nice. Oh, old Apache. Oh, it's a puppy in the bank. Yeah. <laughs> It's a duster. Yeah, that's what I thought. You have an Uber sign on the hearse. And an old Lincoln. Alrighty. That seems to be about it for this one. I might uh, go across the street over there. Looks like a little Mexican restaurant. Might go hang out there and pop back out over here see if there's uh, any other car that showed up but for now it looks to be pretty I don't want to say dead but not much going on some pretty cool cars you know all right well I'm gonna go get me a Dos Equis and see you all right so I went to go get my Dos Equis this car had made it here little cool stretch looking caddy there's now a dirt bike and this Chevy truck made it but uh, other than that, it's all the same cars. So yeah, that one was pretty dead, but you know, whatever, it's 4th of July. It's also getting pretty late. People might be just trying to relax and schedule themselves to watch some fireworks tonight. I know I'm gonna do that. And there goes one right there. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, if you wanna see more, you know, car show content and stuff like that, uh, from me over here in Colorado um, Just let me know down in the comments. Let me know down in the comments as well uh, What your favorite car was that I showed uh, today? Uh, I know mine was that Cadillac, but I'm sure other people are not the Cadillac the uh, the AMC um, With the Cadillac CTSB swap I think was pretty sweet But uh, you know, and I'm sure other people have different tastes but yeah, until I can uh, get myself a car over here, this is going to be about the extent of the content that I can create over here. Streetcar Takeover Denver is actually going to be next weekend, so I think I might be going to that. Uh, I can get you some footage of that. But uh, yeah, just let me know if you uh, kind of like this kind of content. Being able to see the different kinds of builds over here that you normally wouldn't see on our other videos uh, over in Kentucky. But that's going to do it. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you all in another video.